Okay, we also came up with a theory. Mm-hmm. Look, y'all were late, so mm-hmm. Riley and I came up with a theory. British people are polite in general, but rude in porn, whereas Americans are rude in general, polite in porn. You never hear the word please as much from an American as you do in a porno. <laughs> this is difficult because I can I get some pussy? Bear the idea of British porn. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I realized this recently. Take I think taxi. British porn looks like when they go outside in 40 towers. <laughs> Glenn Moore saw Margot Robbie at Inferno's in 2011 That's sick 2011 or 2012 She was still going And was still in Clapham When she was in like Wolf of Wall Street Was this a tie-in promotion For the 2012 Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> she was in like a house show With her boyfriend at the time There were like seven of them still And she was just in Wolf of Wall Street. Oh yeah, because mm. she's she's then married him, right? And he's just he's just like a guy who works on a film set. He's just like a good looking oh, yeah. man who, and he just like he 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 won the lottery. He's married to Margot Robbie now. Mm-hmm. He's not like a famous man. Well, well I- you know that his his. Uh, production company is just called Lucky Chap Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guessing the bill about with Chugsy <laughs> Entertainment. He's honest. He's honest about his capabilities. Yeah, yeah. And he's like your place in life. <laughs> I right tell you, place. boys, I've got one lucky chap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always think about this, where it's like some men have like 15 minutes uh, to sort of brush with some very very hot woman, and they take advantage of it because Kira Knightley's married to a one of the members of the kooks or something or the klaxons and it's like I think it was the klaxons and it's like they had what five minutes and boy did he use them he showed up outside her door with a bunch of placards (laughs) (laughs) they had longer than five minutes if you add up golden scans Atlantis to Interzone that's like six minutes of song that's like that's a lot (laughs) on the stage looking you in the eye (laughs) you lost me after golden scans (laughs) (laughs) but not Kira naming more than one klaxons track is chaotic you'd be a great pointless contestant (laughs) (laughs) It's not over yet. Gravity's rainbow. I'll stop. <laughs> Gravity, they were big into Thomas Pinch. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we got the clacks and stuff out of the way early. We did. Oh, that was on our list, actually. Huh. We can check that off. We've, we've spoken about the clacks. Anytime you talk about British indie rock from ever, it does to me sound like you're making it all up. I mean, can I tell you that the most memorable Claxons lyric is It's not even it's not, words. Well, no, it sounds slightly like a Claxon. <laughs> yeah. Point. yeah, yeah, like a very right. camp Claxon. It was good as uh, Scouse Claxons from you. Yeah, that was yeah. Do you well, remember mm. Los Campesinos, the indie yes. band from? Yeah, so I'm going to see them tonight. Um, what? Yeah, I've, I've doxed myself. If this is going to be a But they've had a, an unbelievable split in their fan base. So they've so their traditional fan base is like older ex emos from like who got into them when everyone did like mm-hmm. 2008. Mm-hmm. But in about 2019, there's a Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> his name, <laughs> which is the beginning of every good is story, Wilbur Suit, and he's one of these right. like I don't know. You know, he's he's got like 10 million subscribers, and he's famous if you're 15. And to nobody else. Like, you'd come in here now and you wouldn't be like, that's one of the most famous people mm. of children. Yeah. But he, he really likes Los Campesinos and he started playing them on his streams, his like Twitch streams. So, all these like really young Minecraft, like Tommy Init fans are super into them now. So, which Campesinos yeah, which do you fall you? into? So, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm an elder Minecraft. No, I'm like, <laughs> uh, super young ex emo is my. So, so they're experiencing bit. the Kate Bush. Stranger yeah. Things are made something. They're having exactly mm. the same thing, but you, with you Minecraft. Know, you know all these kids that are like queuing up for like the 1975 concert for like three days? Yeah. So mm-hmm. they are... It's they want to get their fingers sucked by Maddie Heaton. <laughs> yeah. So, they're go- so I'm going to this gig tonight. It's going to be a split between like kids who wear, you know those beanies with like the super long things you put your hats at, your hands in? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Hats yeah, yeah. and gloves. What? what? Do you know? Do you not remember them? There's like River <laughs> Island hats from like 2012. That's the problem with a hat is that it doesn't have a place for your hands. <laughs> they solved that issue. When no, you said beanie no. with the long things, in my head I pictured one of those like Rasta hats that Adrian Brody wore on SNL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, um, yeah. Kids are wearing those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool now. It sounds like, like, what, it's racial it sounds irony. Like, what, what you're talking about is like a kind of Bob and Doug McKenzie hat, but like redone <laughs> by off-white or something yes. <laughs> was like, I'm ima- imagining the adventure time is that a th- kind of okay. you, or they, there was like they were animal themed I think I think it was like right Wait, were, is this the old emos or the no, young no, this minecrafters is, this is like the minecraft kids like okay. those kind of people mm. in fairness if you don't understand this reference you don't really know who I'm talking about <laughs> I guess but it's like there's gonna be a split between like I looked on the Los Campesinos subreddit yesterday and someone <laughs> brag 
And someone, <laughs> um, and someone posted like, hey, super excited for tomorrow. What does the fandom wear to gigs? It's like that kind of people. Oh. As opposed to like older emos who are like, you know, got aching knees and yeah. stuff. It's going to be an interesting contrast between. It's, it's just a totally, crowd. it's a totally different sort of relationship with the media you yeah, consume. Sure. As like, well, we are the fan, we are the stands. Yeah. Who's like, where? It's all like a football fan, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to beat up the, was it another equivalent band? Uh, oh, um, what's a Los Campesinos? Yeah. Um, like, we're um, uh, modest Mouse. We're going <laughs> to go, be, yeah. we're gonna go beat up the Modest Mouse fans. <laughs> after this. But there's Thank a, you, my love. What, more like Smug Mouse, I call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, thank you. That, that is a good one. No, be yeah. so funny. Like, just imagine like Mr. Beast puts a Chaz and Dave song on his next video, <laughs> and then suddenly there's all these people turning up to like the grimiest pub in Romford <laughs> to, <laughs> to listen to two men sing about Tottenham Hotspur. One, one's dead. Oh, R.I.P. One is man, it Chaz or Dave. Well, I wish I could remember, but <laughs> one of them is. <laughs> They're interchangeable. Do you reckon they've kept the and, even though it's just one of them? It's a very like Chaz and. Or they go well, it's like Dave. you leave a seat for Dave, like the prophet Elijah. Like he, <laughs> Mr. Beast could fill in. Uh, Mr. Beast like fun, like no! funding building Dave again. <laughs> like, he's like, I've given them ten million dollars to rebuild Dave from Chaz and Dave. It may be Chaz who's dead. We don't even well, know. No, you rebuild Dave. It's Dave and Dave. And then, yeah. you know, Dave has to stare into a mirror that reminds him of his own mortality. You know? Mm. How's he going to put that in the thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> Resurrected Mr. Chaz? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, Mr. Mr. Beast can't even do the, like, the soy face. He, he kind of goes like, yeah, you go like, commit to the bit. You've got yeah. the beard, commit to the bit. He has like no expression. He has that weird, like, he looks like a, if a basking shark was made human. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like he's got that like smile that's said behind the eyes, doesn't he, Mr. Mm. Beast? Well, there's there's a bunch of guys yeah. that have that. Though. My, uh, the first celebrity I noticed that on was mm -hmm. a guy who's a singer who I know, who probably none of you will know, not because it's cool, but because it's German. Um, <laughs> there's a guy right. called Peter no. Wackel, who's whole... Oh, who does like Schlager. Yeah, he does Schlager, and his whole thing is that he goes to, like, crappy German ski resorts and then Mallorca. He just sort of alternates between the two of them, um, like, singing, you know, beer songs or whatever. If only we had one of all. So is it, is it like our, our equivalent is the comedians who do Blackpool Pier and yeah. then those areas in, like, Spain? Yeah, yeah. essentially. And, and like, Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, but if you the three stand-up comedians on the lineup are pretending like they're not super jealous of that gig, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, and they get to say those words too. <laughs> yeah. Ever, all of us here, everyone here, just wants I'll be seniors' career. <laughs> <I'll> be seniors. <laughs> a, a gig in Worthing where like everyone has a neck tattoo, and the headliner is Jim Davidson. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you just want to open. I don't even do comedy. You just want to open for that. I just yeah. want to open for that. <laughs> You'd no, open for it doing like reading out the the balance sheet of like a weird star. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, open for, I'd, I'd open. I'd be like, all right, all right, we got. We're doing a Hindenburg episode today. Right? Like, we're talking just reading a short report. Okay, Jim Chubby, it's called <laughs> Ambulance. <laughs> uh, um, uh, the ghost fun. of Bernard Manning. Any guesses? <laughs> no. So, but, so Peter Vockel, if you are to look at this man, he's like a sort of. He looks like a, if if you sort of asked Mid Journey to generate a Bavarian, mm. right? Um, and he's like, wearing the the, the he often the, will the wear straps. Lederhosen in Majorca, right? To sing like oh, man. To, that's wow. intertextuality. That's so yeah. To sing yeah. and like and to yeah. sing like some some songs that are quite cheerful, but like are, have horrible names like Schwarze Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. This, uh, this really puts everything that the British holidaymaker has done to earn the contempt of the Spaniard into sharp relief. <laughs> yeah. I think a man in Lederhosen wandering around singing okay. a song called Schwarz and okay, Natasha he, is. He's not like 65, like no. I assumed yeah, he's yet quite he would young. be. But when oh, I was. Okay. So, it's, let's so he's let's like, have a look. So he's even, even now, he's still wearing like bedazzled denim shirts and stuff, but I have never seen a man with sadder eyes Ooh. than Peter Vakel. He's quite good looking. Which I wasn't expecting. Yeah. He looks like a Republican yeah. congressman, Matt, the guy with the really Matt misshapen Gatz. head. Yeah. 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 He's like German. Yes. You know, because Matt Gatz shouldn't be a congressman. He should be like an, the first American Schlager singer. It's he should all, be Albie Senior. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like cursed timeline Richard Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> He's either a <laughs> Richard Bacon? Jamie Theakston's oh. let himself go and become German, Who's like Richard that. Bacon? 
Dick Bacon. Dick Bacon. <laughs> you don't, I got oh, my Dick Bacon. Okay, right. Where did we begin with Richard Bacon? <laughs> Richard Bacon was a Blue Peter presenter, right? Like two yeah. Episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one day, my sister and I came home from school and we put on the TV and it went to... And Richard Bacon was in, in our and house. Richard Bacon wasn't on it. And instead, there was this uh, woman who was stood in front of a table of drugs and was like, today we're going to talk about drugs. No. And she told us all off for an hour because of what Richard Bacon had done. <gasps> what um, did he do? I think he'd like smoked weed in a park or something like that. No, he'd, this he'd was like, like real like, he, mid-90s he had, like, drug he, punishment he'd stuff. Basically, he'd been like photographed doing cocaine or something, or he'd been dobbed into the press for doing cocaine. Mm. And then, but then the sensational element of the story. On the TV. <laughs> yeah, it was it was alleged that Richard Bacon had done cocaine off the Blue Peter tortoise, <laughs> which which he denies to this day. It's so funny. There's like every every year Richard Bacon will get asked about this in an interview, and it will be like, "Look, I was doing cocaine, but I didn't do it off the tortoise. I'm not fucking <laughs> sick of it's been been didn't didn't that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. I would be. It would it'd be good to prove the effects of cocaine if you were like, "I did it on a leopard. I did it on yeah. a leopard, and I caught up with a leopard and did more coke off the back of the leopard." <laughs> Overtook the leopard. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I see a picture of Dick Bacon, please? Dick Bacon. Dick Bacon. Sure, Bacon. Yeah, I'm going to bring that up yeah. on screen. We need a screen to bring stuff up on. I think there he yeah. is. The situation room. He does He's actually. Hot. <laughs> is this young or old? Oh he, my could, god. he could do cocaine off of my daughter. Yeah. So oh, yeah. a bit of blow, Peter. Oh my fucking yeah. god. He looks blow like Timothy Peter. Oliphant. <laughs> that was good. I didn't get what it deserved. <laughs> well, that... <laughs> there he is, covered in electrodes. He was in a coma. He was in a coma? I'm like, was that a long COVID thing? Uh, he was, well, I mean, on the Daily Express. Uh, 2018, Richard Bacon News. Star the paper admits he nearly died as he speaks out after being in coma. That's what doing cocaine the does Daily to Express you, kids. website stresses me out so much. Because of the content of it? No, it's like, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's like trying to negotiate a cinema website. It's just your... Because it's sort of like sometimes I'm always sort of like, okay, well, in, in terms of like sort of impartiality and okay, there may be certain newspapers that you read and stuff about certain news sources you get your news from. I mean, occasionally you do have this question at the back of my mind, like, uh, is this really a reputable source? Am I, you know, maybe I should sort of balance it out. Hey, let's see, let's see, let's see what a different newspaper is doing. You go on a Daily Express website and you go, no, I'm right. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in the right. That's not, that's, that's a weird, that's a weird format. <laughs> Princess Diana, new theories emerge. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why is this page one? <laughs> Strictly Come Dancing's Amy Dowden wows fan with beauty update amid cancer battle. Whoa. It's all Bradley Walsh storms off the chase set. It's always stuff like that, and if it turns I'm, out he didn't. If I ever yeah. get cancer, I want the headline to be still hot. <laughs> <laughs> Gaff prone Olga in cancer romp. <laughs> Ten rounds of chemo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so this, um, does Dick Bacon, Richard Bacon, hmm. what does he do now? Is, is he a radio DJ? That sounds right. Yeah, I'd say he's, yeah. he's uh, you'd assume like Five Live or something like yeah. that. Bacon covered mm. for Ian Payne on his LBC afternoon okay, shows cool, cool, cool. on the 6th and 7th of July 2019. Not lots of... Wow. That's, 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 that's a pretty limited <laughs> gig. <laughs> that's six hours worth of radio. <laughs> Four and a half years ago. Oh, it's a six hours of content. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look, it's better than fucking Prince Harry and Meghan. They did their yeah. 20 minutes. We were talking about this earlier. Like, mm. if they'd got paid for doing 20 minutes of a podcast where they were like, the next episode, we're going to interview Vladimir Putin about his childhood. I'm was waiting out for that. That yeah, was the plan, that. yeah. Like, that was what they were going to do, mm. is they were going to be like, we're going to get Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin together and be like, mate, what happened in school? <laughs> <laughs> Vladimir, what is your earliest childhood memory? <laughs> well, to understand this, we must uh, consider the story of Vladislav the Wise. Who, <laughs> in 1548. <laughs> topical, topical. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is recorded in uh, mid-February. <laughs> <laughs> this was topical at the time. Um, and it's just, uh, this, please, please uh, <laughs> tell, me, tell, tell me about your child. And then he teaches... Teaches him like mental health talk. And then Putin's just like, We are setting, establishing a, a firm boundary with Ukraine in Donbass. <laughs> Check in on your Chuvaki. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke only I got. Thank yeah. You so much. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. I, I was checking on your dudes, uh -huh. but yeah. in Russian. It just, yeah. If you say it half in Russian, half in English, hey, it, like, like it's assonant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay, we also came up with a theory. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all were late. So, mm -hmm. Riley and I came up with a theory. British people are polite in general, but rude in porn, whereas Americans are rude in general, polite in porn. You Ooh. never hear the word please as much from an American as you do in a porn. <laughs> this is difficult because I... Can I get some pussy? Bear the idea of British porn. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I realized this recently. I Take think, a taxi. 
British porn looks like when they go outside in Forty Towers. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's just beating a it's Mini just, Cooper with a tree branch. It's just grainy. And <laughs> yeah. Do you know, around the corner from my flat is a car that has the fake taxi sticker on it. <gasps> Sick. Whoa. Mm. A celebrity yeah. driving. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think he got here? <laughs> do you think he did his service, please? Do you accept cars? Oh, in 20 seconds. Um, <laughs> I, no, I, no I, I, I think it's like, but it, like, I think a family just lives there. A so family. I think someone got it as like a fun gift. Like, oh, we're a crazy Wait, in the fake taxi. That's insane. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just, it's, but it's the logo. I, I think some people are like buying them for their dad in like a like dad's oh, taxi oh, kind of way where they don't understand. Cause they're like, yeah, oh, cause reference. dad's not really a taxi, but he does act like a taxi. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I've heard a few tales like that. Uh huh. I mean, that would cause so many, especially if you always fucks you. <laughs> it, would be, it would be extraordinarily confusing uh, if you were driving around where they happened to be filming fake taxi at the time. Mm. Right. Yeah. Because then you sort of stop and it's like, oh, yeah, like someone just gets in the car and then it like sort of begins to make advances on you. That would be like, is, is, is fake taxi a British thing. Yeah. Yeah, big jump. Which is weird because I feel like it, getting in an unlicensed cab is like such a no-no in the UK of like a safety <laughs> thing. But it's like if a big porn company was called like unlicensed PPI company ringing you up. <laughs> at 3 PM, like you just go, no, we don't, we don't fall for that. We don't, a, we just don't do a that. A porn company that's called like PE teacher with no DBS checks. <laughs> oh my God. There's a reason why uh, it's bang buzz in American fake taxi here because the fake taxi, the, the, the British taxi has enough room to have sex in. Like a New York cab is a bit crammed. You'd be yeah. sort of getting like a, a backwards hand job like yeah, this. Yeah, That's yeah. the best you could really hope for. I thought it was Bang Bros. Well, there's Not two. Bang, oh, yeah. is it two? Yeah, there's two. Oh, like, Bang Bros implies it's like a family run. Are you challenging my porn knowledge <laughs> right now? Like, like the Mario Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last, last year, I actually went to the British Porn Awards. Ooh, How's met, that? Were they all talking very aggressively? <laughs> uh, I think there was a lot of cocaine that had been done. I met some of the most intense yeah. people. So it's a thing called. Um, Support network for adult performers. I think I, I might have butchered that name. It's called oh my the God, Sna- did the Prince Harry Awards. start that? <laughs> 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 that was like mental health, and it was like so. It was for it was, I was reporting on it for for a, a video, and not for a video. Yeah, for a video. Tech. And, I <laughs> taxi. and I met it, everyone was lovely. Everyone was like there was some of the most interesting. There's a guy whose nickname there's household names there, the Irish Bull. Who's Dad, he? He's a. I asked. I said, "How did you get your name?" And he said. I'm Irish. I've got a cock like a bull. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was Shadow, Shadow Dimitri. There was a Shadow Dimitri. Yeah, that was his name. Implying the existence of, a, of like a kind of light, <laughs> light side <laughs> Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri. Just Dimitri. Yeah, yeah just Dimitri. Yeah, um, yeah and it was, there was people who, like, a colleague I was there with, I'd made like a cheat sheet of like the nominees. Because believe it or not, I did not know anybody. I didn't mm-hmm. know their names. I didn't know. So I made like a cheat sheet of like, Faces You're like names. an OBGYN. Mm. You would only recognize them with, with, their, with their bottoms <laughs> off. Or, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or you'd only recognize them as, oh, it's the stepsister from the stepsister. <laughs> yeah. stuff the, you're you're yeah. from the yeah. Yeah, it's the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what what categories? Well, uh, there's so there was kind of standard ones, I guess, like best female, best male. Then there was niche performer, and I spoke to um. Women I was interviewing. Those, are those the three genders? Male, female, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Rude, but... rudest tradesperson. Uh, what, uh, what MILF won lifetime achievement? <laughs> That's got to be a gilf, surely. You can't be handing out this, the MILF stage. You know, this, this, this woman said, I was speaking to, I, should, so she, I said, I think she was in her 60s. I was like, Are you nominated for something? And she said, Yes, I'm nominated for, for, for niche, best niche performer. I was like, What's your niche? Expecting it to be like, you know, custard. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Something extremely niche. And she went, I think it's a polite way of saying, you're too old to be doing this, <laughs> which was <laughs> very damning. But That's then ageism in porn. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And then there was um, a guy who did not look. Imagine your stereotypical male porn actor, uh-huh. and mm-hmm. imagine the opposite, and take that to the extreme. That's what this guy looked like. Like he looked like. Um, do you, no, I want. I want to pause now, right now, and everyone to describe. <laughs> <what>? <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked like you know uh, Al from Toy Story Two. No, no. The villain, the man who owns the to- Al's toy barn, is like the the, yes. the human. Yeah, you look like that. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh no! George Costanza. I mean, okay, there we go. <laughs> so, I, so I, I asked him what he like hit what he did, and he said, "I think he was like just an ultimate submissive guy." I said, right. what, "What's the craziest thing you've you've ever done?" And he said, "I was used as a human ashtray," which seems oh. quite intense. 
for a yeah. It was, just, it was an intense evening. Mm-hmm. Are they open to the public? Can like anyone buy a ticket to go? No, no I think you need to be a member of mm-hmm. SNAP. Is that their yeah. union? Yes, it's, it's like a union support network. You have to have thing. ridden in the fake taxi, <laughs> and then you can go. But just, everyone was like, "Oh, I, I love doing fake taxi. It's like the most fun." Someone, someone like said, "They, they, they the Big taxi, Johnny's the taxi a real crashed. Gent. The taxi crashed as they were before, as they were having sex." Wait, then, why it was moving? I think so. And then they were like, "What do you do?" Cautious lad, but treats you like a lady. <laughs> Did they, was it all entirely British? Or did, they, did they have like a best foreign feature? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think it was up and he's like, once you get over that one inch barrier of subtitles, <laughs> you'll open yourself to a whole yeah, new arena. Some of Iranian movies. porn is actually very interesting. Um, <laughs> it's an underexplored genre, yeah. So I think it was, just, it was just Brits there or people who worked within the British uh-huh. adult industry. What's the uh, trophy shaped like? I want to say a dick. I actually can't remember. I remember, oh, yeah. but it was. An interesting it's a holiday, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you just, like, <laughs> no, just have a square trophy or something. You know, it's not like, it's not that creative. No, but it was an Any interesting. Food? Even... Any canapes? Uh, no canopies. Drink. It was the it was the warmest room I've ever been in. It was like because well, was... they're not wearing any clothes, are they? Mm. No cl- clothes were on, to oh. be fair. Clothes were on. Uh, but also like, I'm in. So in this video, I'm red, <laughs> and, like dripping with sweat, mm-hmm. and people were like. It's a bit nervous. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no, I'm not. I was, it was too warm. It was like I think it was in July in like this like nightclub in London, and that's when it was the July when it was forty degrees. Yeah, it was like yeah. stupid. Oh, no. It was like absolutely like clothes were just dripping. Everyone was they were like doing cocaine. And did you see anyone there where you're like, how the fuck have you managed to do? What am I doing it? In fact, like, did you, get, <laughs> did you get annoyed at it? My, my niche is normal sized yeah. cock. <laughs> Some people, it's a fetish, you know. Regular sized cock lasting for a respectable amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully doing missionary yeah. sex. Uh, That's my YouTube uh-huh. shorts, but for porn. <laughs> and also, I my niche as well is make him come sometimes. <laughs> It's too, in- it's too intense. Yeah, not everyone it's likes just, to, not everyone yeah. likes to come. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Is, uh, so, some women are into men that they would be comfortable introducing to their mother. Um, <laughs> that's the kind of that's the yeah. kind of porn that I do. Plans are, like, yeah. plans a really lovely day. Mm. <laughs> I just go, hi. I just got home from my stable job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little tired for sex right now. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, woman who I appreciate and listen to? <laughs> Oven pizza for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> We're not inside the delivery catchment area. It's just not <laughs> hey, careful. Uh, thank you for doing the laundry. Careful not to get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've greased up the rim of the washing machine. <laughs> I know how you hate it when you get yeah. stuck in there. Anyway, both of our stepbrother is coming. <laughs> <laughs> However, I've told him to keep his pants on. Hmm. Is Dimitri in shadow? Is Dimitri in shadow? Dimitri here? No, this is this yeah. is light Dimitri. I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is light energy Dimitri. Who's D- Dimitri is unsexual. my real brother. Yeah. Shadow I won't give Dimitri. You a job of instructions. You know what you're already doing. This would be patronizing. Yeah. <laughs> I I hate to keep talking about porn, but uh-huh. I no, you don't. My question, my question, genuine question is, and mm. this is put on your serious hats on. Why mm. is there constantly music and TV in the background of amateur porn? Are they trying to drown out the sex with neighbors? Is it a copyright issue? Why are they? Why does that have to? It's so Drowning distracting. Out the sex I watched an amateur neighbors. porno with Paradise by Coldplay in the background. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> was it like a loop? Surely. He was trying not to come. Have you? Have you ever? <laughs> What's well, a Paradise Coldplay trying not to come challenge? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> have you ever shazammed a song that you heard playing? <laughs> I'm in poor. Can't say it. Oh, right in. I, May have done. No, you may have done. Okay. Turns out, turns out, was it Paradise by Goldplay? <laughs> turned out it was Pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> Who can fuck the Pendulum? Da, 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 I was like, da, da, where do I know da, da, that from? Da, da, da. Where do I know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's distracting. The tempo is oppressive. <laughs> Getting your iPhone you on your meth. other hand. I mean, like, all right, we're going back to this later. Wow. Uh, where do I this is kind of catchy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, why is this taking me back to 2010? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But is it, do you think there's a reason for it? For production values? But, is it, but surely, if, you're, if you have enough thought to set up the camera, mm. it, fe- it has to be deliberate. Is the it, fact that there's Simpsons on the background. Yeah. Okay, you're nodding. Is there a reason for this? So is it then like, what is that? In what way? Oh. Um, you can't put it on YouTube, basically. Para, para, 
That makes so much sense. So if I upload an amateur porno, but there's paradise in the background, if someone uploads to YouTube, it'll get banned by Coldplay. We'll probably get banned for all the nudity. Well, yeah. not how I do it. But <laughs> <No>. um, <laughs> This is my porno where there's just a hole in the bed sheet. It's very limited. Um, yeah, a, yeah. We're finally doing modesty. There used to be that that blog. I'm dating myself here. Where they would they would fight. They would label all of the IKEA furniture and porn. Like they would take screenshots and they would, and they would say, "We just like two guys fucking." They would be like Malm, just like label. I, like, I convinced a friend years ago that a really there was a really popular porn category called false bars, and he was like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, "Oh, false bars is this, this really popular fetish that loads of people have, but it's where you'll have like two people banging in like a living room." Um, and the idea is they're banging at someone else's house. So in the background, there's always like a vase on the shelf. But you know, but they don't know that, that vase does not belong to them. And it's like a real turn on for people. And, um, <laughs> I convinced quite a lot of people that this was a real thing. So yeah. No one liked the sound of yeah. it necessarily. But then someone was like, mm. false vase, false vase. Yeah, it's it sounds like a thought something. experiment. We could, we could, what, if, what if we swapped out the vase with a taxi? But what's more, what's more <laughs> catchy? <laughs> What's more catchy than false? <laughs> Artificial taxi. <Absolutely. laughs> the liar's conveyance. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to false hackney carriage. It's the, it's the, it's the gilded age pornography. <laughs> what are those false v- rickshaws that go around Leicester no. Square blasting out the I say, girl. woman, silence before I come back there and, and strike thine breasts. <laughs> How come? How come though? In the background of of um of, of false uh, hackney carriage, there's always a wax cylinder of. Uh, <laughs> it's of, not that. It's a right not time that. Gal playing. <laughs> They're always playing Glenn Miller's in the mood. <laughs> uh, how could you come to Glenn Miller's in the mood for love? People did in the forties. Do you ever think that when you're watching? We really mixed um, our decades there. I think. Uh, me and my girlfriend have been watching some like World War Two TV series recently. Yeah, I think like World War Two porn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when it's in cinemas, apparently everyone jumped out Take the way that, of the Jerry. <laughs> you, were, you were watching Band of Step Brothers. The cum shot. Everyone diving <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Help! I'm stuck in the foxhole. <laughs> <laughs> foxhole Norman. Yeah, we were. Um, yeah, and then w- the one thing is whenever they have like a party scene where all the soldiers they got some time off and they're having a party, they're out there dancing with the girls or whatever it was like man they had no bangers in the 1940s <laughs> like nothing yeah every song is like oh meet me at the newsstand uh, <laughs> to, 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 to them that was what pendulum was to you at 23 that's right yeah and you couldn't even shazam it <laughs> I, and they always go like they always say to the band hey do you know she wore a red ribbon and they go sure whatever and they'll start singing it and they never have to refer to like the karaoke book yeah, yeah, yeah. But never after a Because well, there were like four songs. Exactly. Yeah. See, and one of them was God Save the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> that was the horniest thing you could do in the 40s, was wearing a red ribbon. Ooh. Like just fully clothed. Like if you put a red ribbon on a man, you could turn any soldier gay. It was like <laughs> it was like a Pavlovian response. <laughs> Well, well you could turn any American soldier gay. I mean, a British soldier was kind of already most of the way there. <laughs> well, the officer. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, but this is also they looked at porn together as well. But porn was just like a bathing suit lady. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they, they just have Those like a, they, they, yeah, they would just they, they all gather around a sort of long picture of a woman in a bathing suit and just yeah. get hard together. <laughs> Say, Sergeant, Aww. you got a picture of your wife in a sundress? <laughs> I'm trying to crank one out over here. <laughs> Why is there always artillery noises in the background of my porn? <laughs> it's very off-putting. Uh, that be newsreel. But old yeah. porn. <laughs> ah, we joined the men as they're <laughs> enjoying some downtime on the fan. <laughs> Look at them masturbating over pictures of one of their wives. Sorry, Jenny, you're quite popular with Buzz Platoon. <laughs> These boys are dreaming of getting dome. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have to see off the Fuhrer before there's any chance of that. <laughs> Just like a, like a newsreel camera sweeping through a barracks where <laughs> ten guys are having wet dreams in sequence. <laughs> like synchronized swimming. <laughs> <laughs> this one's thinking about Vera Lynn. You should be so lucky, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fuck again. 
Who cares about don't Sherman Tank when, when you can watch your friend Sherman wank? <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's become like an ad. <laughs> Join the army. Enlist. <laughs> it's just like, are you a closeted homosexual? <laughs> Join the army. If I had like 10 million pounds, I would buy one of the ad breaks during like the Mars Singer and put that advert on. <laughs> <laughs> In between like a DFS ad, John Lewis, just that black and white real news mission, families around the country going, what? I mean, it doesn't advertise anything. Because <laughs> there's, no, there's nothing that can stop you from, if you have the money, they'd let you do it. Like during the yeah, Champions yeah, League yeah. final, I always thought you could just buy advert space and have like a person walking down the street. They suddenly go, oh, and it goes, diarrhea can strike at the most inopportune time. And then that advert just ends. Like, it's it's, not like, four, it's like, like one it's of the players up. from the Champions League final. <laughs> 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 well, at least four ads in the Super Bowl this year I was watching, it were just for Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it's like a reminder. Yeah, yeah. you need some press. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But they still. It's kind of like when they advertise Google. Yeah, you know, or Coke. Uh, yeah. What are they advertising Coca Cola? Everyone yeah. knows about it. Google's mm. a weird. What the fuck? Let me bing this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I suppose they better see what Jeeves has to say. <laughs> um, I, th I think that what what you just said though that proves to me the point that there is no single. Very, very wealthy, very, very funny person because mm. they would have done that. They would, that would have been immediately obvious that, of course, that's what you should do. Yeah. Is, it's interesting because uh, most very, very rich people desperately want to be funny. Mm. Yeah. Like Elon, Elon Musk, Musk wants would to do be funny. it, but it wouldn't be funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. well, he, it would need to be too, um, he would need to be like, and I, too in on it. He wouldn't be yeah. able to just be like, well, leave people going, what? He has to leave people thinking, wow, that Elon Musk sure is a funny character. <laughs> just, just beep it out. We could do this to it... screw people over the, like, throughout the yeah. podcast. Oh, we can cut back in, but genuinely, she needs to be over 16. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you said that. You can't see those things anymore. <laughs> you don't have that past. <laughs> I think the correct term is South Asian. Anyway. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> We've actually, and, and no one is able to speak. <laughs> Everyone just went into like a thoughtful reverie there um, for a second. Um, yeah. Milo, yeah. given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? <laughs> who was the first person who came to mind? I could see it in your big, face that you big thought John of John from Fake Taxi. Okay. <laughs> Milo. <laughs> it's a recency bias, I'm pretty sure. Would you like yeah. to be famous, and if so, in what way? Would I like to be famous, and if so, are you are you on like a dating guide or something? You're gonna. This is like these are like questions from like that Silla Black would ask you on TV in the nineties. <laughs> well, if I. I mean, Riley, I'm a professional stand-up comedian. <laughs> okay. Question seven. <laughs> What do you mean, question seven? I'm on the Wikipedia Sorry. page of Peter Vockel still. <laughs> mm. okay, the Wikipedia page of Peter Vockel now says, before <laughs> making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you are going to say? Is, is no, this, like, is this like, like an porn, autism please. test or something? <laughs> <laughs> What's your perfect day? Oh my God, you're sweating. <laughs> well, I get too warm. Like this is like, I feel like I'm being mk ultra <laughs> This is yeah. like a really sexy version of like a German oral exam. <laughs> <laughs> and how many siblings do you have? <laughs> <laughs> to, what, what did you do at the weekend? <laughs> did you uh, did you get stuck in anything, perhaps? <laughs> you ever? We always felt guilty about how stupid our responses sounded in German, but actually the questions were were insane. Yeah. For the teacher, the conversation strands. Well, what did you do at the weekend? But who's your favourite singer? And you go, wait, no, sorry, how... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where have we gone to that? That's not a conversation, I'm afraid. That, that yeah. reminds me of a... In, in Canadian French class. Uh, a French class in Canada, not class for learning Canadian French. Mm. Uh, Although, effectively... You, well, you're sort of learning French. French. You're not, mm. you're not learning, like, tabernacle uh, and so mm. on. Um, uh, we had to sing a song about how it's hard to choose something to watch on television. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Can't, can't to show us? <clears throat> um, so you were, for example, <laughs> told you I was a guess, <laughs> guess, say, que regarde. I mean, I could riff this. A decision is painful. 
Um, oh my god. Yeah. That uh, does sound like the French, to be uh, fair. <laughs> le dessin animé or le drame aussi, les émissions de sport ou les comédies. The sport émission. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we watch sport comedy or the OC. <laughs> <laughs> the two types of TV yeah. in France. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got sport comedy, the OC, and blackface. <laughs> Those are the three things on French television. Yeah. And, and some parts of the south of England. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just remember it being such a strange. Such a strange module where, again, you'd have sort of 30, you know, nine-year-olds just sort of like all... That all? Har- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No yeah. one could so, learn the song. <laughs> that was the- what a waste of everyone's time. That interjection was free. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it, what, and it took me ages to say. It wasn't even like quick. Wait, what'd it took you like say? 10 seconds yeah. and I was like, wow, like- they're 39. What's, what's, the, what's the best thing about 39 year olds? And it's like, I don't know how well they sing Une décision c'est pénible. <laughs> how, how much they hate deciding what to watch on television. <laughs> they can't stand it. Like, oh, what am I, I going to watch? A drama? A cartoon? <laughs> and, but all it did was make you think about how much you'd rather be watching television. Yeah. Like, wow. I, I sure would like to make a choice of what television show to watch instead of singing this particular song. I didn't think to say that at the time. <laughs> You didn't, have, you didn't have the vocabulary. But now that you have the platform. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm talking to you, Miss Giesbrecht. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like to be singing that song. I don't, I, d- I don't trust a woman with that name to be teaching French. So I was kind of, yes, oh, children, we are going to be learning Mademoiselle, French. I think. <laughs> Mademoiselle, yeah. unmarried. They're kind to me. I've just mm. moved here from Argentina. <laughs> Mademoiselle. No, so this is, this is because like the part of Ontario I grew up in is like full of like Germans. It's like the Germanist part of Canada. And that's why you took French? Well, you have to take French. Yeah, I emigrated here in 1949 from uh, Switzerland. Um, yeah, <laughs> Switzerland. Maybe we have to cut this part out. The Canadian space program. But, yeah. <laughs> My- <laughs> <laughs> it's one guy. <laughs> <laughs> you are harboring Newfoundland mummers under your floorboards, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mostly, mostly Mennonites. Um, not. Uh, like yeah, like you'd see like horses and buggies and stuff oh. sometimes, but like they're different. Like Mennonites go in like levels of extremeness. Where mm-hmm. It's like sometimes it's like, yeah, there's like horses and horse and buggy Mennonites. We have some of, and then mm-hmm. there's like Mennonites where sort of all all is regular except like <laughs> all is regular. You got the fake taxi Mennonites. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it too late to ask what's a Mennonite? <laughs> Uh, a Mennonite is like um Amish ish. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like a less. <laughs> now that's the title of the sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, from the makers of Blackish. Mm. No, it is two and a half Mennonite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one, of them, one of them stepped on a landmine in a very cruel <laughs> irony. Uh, so it's like um, you know German Christians who like reject modernity. You know, mm. like Amish basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they call you English and stuff. Like that's, how, that's how they refer to a non-Mennonite as below English, and so on. It, it, the, him another question. Well, the worst thing you can be is English to them. Uh, Milo, do you have a secret hunch about how you're going to die? No, I can honestly say no. But how? But tell me more. What do you mean, tell you more? Just generate one. <laughs> you can only, no, think, I can you, only tell you, you more. Die? I can only tell you more if the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> if the answer is no. Like, if you an account of all the different times I haven't had a secret hunch about okay, how I was going to die. Let's start with that. <laughs> well, we must go back to 1548 when Yaroslav the Wise. <laughs> um, when did you last sing to yourself? Um, I don't it's know. On the list. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just, he just wants to know. He just likes to know. <laughs> When? Probably not that long ago. Yeah. When, damn you? Or what do you feel most grateful? Um, I, all, all, of my, all of my friends on my podcast who are, very, who are very honest with me about why they're asking me a list of questions. <laughs> <laughs> if you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? Um, regular size penis. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying He's to not making it clear it's a downgrade. Yeah. 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 And I never will. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> take four minutes. Oh my God! Or great radio. <laughs> yeah. no, no, okay. I'm not gonna ask. Fine. I'm not gonna ask you any more of the 36 questions to fall in love with someone. <laughs> Wait, you were trying to get me to fall in love with you? <laughs> well, you know, I just see where it goes. Yeah. Why not? 
Um, tune in next week yeah. if you want to find out. If Do you feel betrayed that it turned out that's what the list of questions was from? No, that wasn't an organic thing. I didn't, well, that's I, one of the questions. It could have been better. I mean, it could have been like, a, you know, are, are you a delusional psychopath test or something? Yeah. So I guess it's kind of charming. Well, there's nothing worse than if you've like slept with someone and you go, wow, how did you find 50 ways to drive me wild? I mean, you notice there's like, <laughs> there's a Cosmo magazine on the bedside, yeah. and you're like, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah you yeah, found yeah. 50 ways to drive me wild, and I have to say, I did not expect number 41. <laughs> 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 number 41 came out of left field. <laughs> Yeah, we we went because it was the only place where we could get a massage that was like nearish where we were living and like this the, doesn't feel right. But yeah. Continue. Anyway, so we went. You know, and you then, can just like there's a service called. You can just yeah. get a masseuse to come to your house. There you go. That's our sponsor of the week. <laughs> um, okay, fine. Bleep the bleep yeah. the name. Uh, of the company. They got to pay. They got to pay. Um, look, yeah, we were there, and uh, yeah, it was the only, for whatever reason it was the only time we could get a massage. That, like it was near enough and suited us the timing. I, I can't remember the details. Anyway, so we went there. The, the sauna at Rashabanya is fine. It's just it's just too hot. It's like hotter than a regular sauna. And then they start like anyway. So we had the massage, and it was just like brutal. It's just like like a woman called Svetlana is like elbowing you in the back of the neck for like thirty five <laughs> minutes. Like it's like you know when a massage is an ordeal. Yeah, it's that kind of massage. It's like, I, for me, every massage is an ordeal. I'm too tense yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. but I can't relax. From I feel like I'm playing dead on a battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> it's just awful and it's like don't fucking move and it feels like a bear is sniffing me and I'm like don't <laughs> you know. don't do it um, I, there's, a, there's a massage place around the corner from me and obviously, mm. obviously it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a brothel um, <laughs> yeah. but because it's open for 24 hours mm. uh, but also what I like is outside they've got an electronic board for their rates as if it's like petrol at a service station yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. going up and down based on or like, or like a currency know, exchange <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's really strange <laughs> brothel dollars are the- yeah. <laughs> Have you seen how cheap the blowjobs are? I've got to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Below, sell high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, rimming at that price? I see an arbitrage opportunity. <laughs> how much would you boys pay for a rim job? Going well on the foot job 100. You're 25, I'll broker you one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was originally a coffee house with Lloyds of London. <laughs> it became a massage parlor. <laughs> An espresso and getting wanked off, yeah. So do you think the Canada arm would be able to wank you off? I'm, I'm circling Oh, back. you're circling.